statistics let us move on to the last measure of central tendency that is mode now this mode stands for highest frequency this mode is nothing but highest frequency highest frequency means the frequency that repeats for the maximum number of times suppose we have an example this is the raw data so which is the number that repeats for maximum times we can see that this 4 repeats for the maximum times that is thrice so we can say that a mode is 4 because 4 repeats for the maximum times so very simple let us see how to find out mode of group data so this is the example that we have taken previously as well now in this case we are going to find out mode of this given data so for that we have a formula mode is given by mode is given by l plus f1 minus f0 upon 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiplied by h so this is the formula for mode l plus f1 minus f0 upon 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h where this l stands for lower limit l stands for lower limit of model class this f1 stands for your frequency of model class the frequency of model class then we have two more values that is f0 and f2 as we know f stands for frequency so f0 is also frequency f2 is also frequency but f0 is the previous frequency of model class you can say previous or you can say preceding so this is the previous frequency and this is the next frequency or you can say succeeding frequency that is f2 and we know what is the value of and we know what is h h already stands for class size let me just copy the formula for mode so we have mode equal to l plus f1 minus f0 upon 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h so let us first copy down the column so let us just take the given data in column now we have class interval and we have the corresponding frequency so let me write down the class interval now so 100 to 120 120 to 140 140 to 160 then 160 to 180 and 180 to 200 And the corresponding frequencies are twelve, fourteen, eight, six, and ten. Now the first step is to find out which is the highest frequency. Fourteen is the highest frequency amongst all this, so this will be considered as our model class. So the class one twenty to one forty is considered as our model class, and in this we can clearly see this one twenty. is the lower limit so we got the value of l so l is 120 then this 14 which is the highest frequency is denoted by f1 then we have the two frequencies as f0 and f2 so f0 is the preceding frequency or previous frequency so 12 will be our f0 and then we have succeeding frequency next as our f2 and we already have the class size the gap is 20 so we have the class size that is h is equal to 20 we are just supposed to substitute the values so let us substitute the values now so we get mode equal to l that is 
plus just see the formula f1 minus f0 so f1 minus f0 is going to give me 14 minus 12 then i have 2 f1 that is 2 into 14 minus f0 that is minus 12 minus f2 minus f2 that is 8 into h that is 10 to 20 which is the class size so we have 120 plus 14 minus 12 is 2 2 into 14 is 28 28 minus 20 it is going to give me 8 now and then I have this 20 over here so 2 ones are 2 2 fours are 8 4 ones are and 4 fives are so we have 120 plus 5 that is 125 so mode is 125 rupees